642 now, just minutes before the six-day ceasefire between Israel and Hamas was to expire, the truce was extended by at least one more day. There's a live shot that we're looking at of West Charlotte. We're going to catch up with Ted and get uh, a forecast here in just a bit. Back to the story. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is in Israel for a third visit since the October 7th terror attack. As Washington correspondent Rashawn Hudson reports, Washington leaders hope this will lead to the release of more Americans. The temporary ceasefire between Israel and Hamas has extended into a seventh day. Secretary of State Antony Blinken returned to the region for a third time since the October 7th attack. From day one, we have been focused relentlessly on trying to secure the release of hostages. Thursday, Hamas handed off a sixth group of hostages. Among them was one Israeli-American woman, Liat Benid, President Biden confirming the news. Things are moving well. She'll soon be home with her three children. But ultimately, Israel promises to resume fighting to take out Hamas. <laughs> on Capitol Hill, Democrats and Republicans say they're focused on humanitarian aid for Gaza, helping free more hostages, and providing Israel the aid to defend itself. Still a very dangerous situation because there are other Iranian proxies in the north. And I will not rest until we get every hostage, including the nine Americans, home. 